Now, let us study the health management aspect. Let us start with endoparasites. Roundworm, tapeworms, etc. are common in sheep like other ruminants. This problem is more in grazing sheep. Parasites suck the blood, causing debility. Sheep may die if the infestation is severe. Hence, deworming is most important for successful sheep farming. Put first dose of deworming medicine at 20 to 30 days stage for lambs. Next dose by 2 to 2 and a half month age or at 10 kilograms body weight. Deworm the adult sheep once in August, September and again twice afterwards. The grazing sheep needs five deworming per year. There are many chemicals and brands. Dosage depends on body weight. Hence, it is better to consult an experienced veterinarian for any medication. The ectoparasites create many health problems apart from sucking blood. Dipping, spraying or injection of suitable chemicals is followed for control of ectoparasites. Control of ecto and endoparasites is most important for best utilization of nutrients fed. ET or enterotoxemia is a deadly disease of sheep. Excess feeding of moist fodder, sudden change in food or climate will bring this problem. ET is common in rainy season. Sheep with good growth is more affected. Pathogenic bacteria called Clostridium develops very fast in the nutritious food in intestine. Sheep dies due to toxin released by the bacteria. Teeth grinding bending the head on one side, diarrhea, lying down and convulsion with debility, sudden death, after circling round etc. are the symptoms of ET. There will be no sufficient time for treatment if the problem is severe. To prevent ET, put first dose of vaccine at two and a half month stage for the lamb. Boosting resistance is recommended by another dose of vaccine after 17 to 30 days. Adult sheep are vaccinated once in March and again in September with ET vaccine. HS or hemorrhagic septicemia is one more dangerous contagious disease of small ruminants. Sheep develop this problem by consuming polluted feed and water and also by contact with other infected sheep. Fever, difficult breathing, no feeding or anorexia, diarrhea with or without blood, abortion in pregnant eaves, etc. are the symptoms of HS disease. This is a deadly disease in which the sheep dies in two to three days without feed intake. This problem is more in the humid climate of rainy season. Detection and treatment of HS disease is difficult. To prevent this problem, vaccinate the lamb to two and a half to three months stage. Booster dose may be given after 17 to 30 days. Adult sheep are vaccinated once in June, July and again in six months. PPR disease. This is a contagious viral disease seen in all seasons. High fever, watery lacrimation in eyes, salivation in wounded mouth, debility due to anorexia, white strips below the nose, shooting diarrhea, etc. are the symptoms of PPR disease. To prevent this problem, vaccinate the lamb at two to three months stage. Adult sheep are given PPR vaccination yearly once in December, January. Sheep pox. It is also a deadly contagious viral disease. Pathogen spreads by air and contact with the affected sheep. Fever and watery lacrimation in the eyes are seen initially. In the later stage, pustules appear around the base of the tail, eyes and on the udder and thigh skin. Pustules turn into wound. Cough may be seen if the pustules develop in the lungs and respiratory tract. Lambs are affected more. At least half of the sheep in the herd die. To prevent this disease, vaccinate the lamb by 4 to 5 month age 
do not put too early. Vaccinate the adult sheep once in a year. Blue tongue disease or BT. This is also a viral disease spread by Culeides flies. This problem is more during rainy season and in marshy areas. Fever, swelling of lips, mandible and ears, salivation, blue colored tongue, limping, shedding of wool etc. are the symptoms of BT disease. Lambs die due to starvation and other secondary infections. Veterinary scientists have developed a trial vaccine for this which is proved effective. Give this vaccine once in a year by July August. Foot and mouth disease or FMD. This contagious viral disease is rarely seen in sheep. Normally stall fed sheep escape this problem. Contact with the affected animal saliva, slime or the fodder polluted with the pathogen spreads this FMD disease. Fever in the grooves of the hooves and mouth etc. are the symptoms. Limping is seen due to pain. Keep the sheep away from the cattle affected with FMD disease. Vaccinate the sheep twice a year in the outbreak area of the disease. Foot rot is one more major problem in sheep. This disease is seen in rainy season if the temperature is more than 30 degrees centigrade with high humidity. This problem starts if the sheep wander in mud mixed with cow dung and pellets. Pus accumulates in the grooves of the hooves. Sheep experiences severe pain. Maggots may be seen in the open wound. Malignant growth in the groove of the hooves may end up in peeling of hooves. Foot rot repeats in the same herd in the next season if the situation is conducive. Inject streptopencillin or any suitable antibiotic to the affected sheep. To prevent foot rot, maintain hygienic condition in and around the sheep shed. Dust a mixture of lime powder and copper sulphate on the floor of the shed two to three times in a year. Formalin fumigation may also be carried out once in the rainy season. If the paddock is kept clean, stall-fed sheep escape foot rot problem. All these vaccines cannot be administered at a time. Maximum one vaccine may be given per month. Develop a clear vaccination schedule and carry out. Vaccinate the lambs at right stage and bring them into the adult vaccination schedule in due course of time. Putting any vaccine with one or two weeks difference will not be a problem.